Good morning, everybody. It's another day. And look, my window rolls down today. Bonus. Yesterday it was frozen shut. Every good day starts with Timmy's. Have I made to get a food? Could I have a sausage farmer's wrap and a hash brown and a medium coffee with one cream, please? Sounds good. And what's there anything else I can get for you today? That's it. Sounds good. Your sausage farmer wrap meal will be seven fifty at the window, please. Super duper. Thank you very much for the Tim card that was sent to us by one of our friends out west. It has been received and it is being used in a super duper way for a super duper copy. Right, got a Tim card here. Thank you very much. Later, Gator. I am seven years old. I know. So let's go drive some big trucks, shall we? Go around, make sure all the lights are working. It's always a bonus. Make sure the tires are filled with air. Good air, good quality air. Make sure the lights in the back are working. That's good, that's good. Everything's good. And always remember to change the air in your tires to winter air. Head on over to your local body shop, bring them your vehicle and tell them You'd like to replace the air in your tires for winter air. And Trucker Josh sent you. And then let me know what they say. So we're off to Headingley, Manitoba. Way on the west side of Winnipeg there. I remembered my head strap today. Let's see how this day goes. Apparently I've got two loads, two trips going in to Winnipeg. This is the first one. I gotta pick up some kind of kind of, I don't know, building product or something. Bring it back to the Steinbeck area. And then go back into Winnipeg for something else. That's all I know. I don't care what it is. Put it in a trailer, I'll pull it. Put it in the trailer, I don't care. Put her in there. This is living though, you know? Smell of diesel fuel in the morning. Trucking down the highway, 18 wheels humming. Hey, Pepsi, I used to drive those trucks. I probably know that guy. That's where it all began for Trucker Josh. That's where I got my class one license. Pepsi in Winnipeg. It was an interesting, fun job. Not always fun, but it was an interesting job. And it kept me in shape. That was long before the Trucker Josh belly appeared. We've made it to our first shipper, and it's one of these wonderful shippers that have big signs pointing you to the shipping office. Big signs, shipping office, that way. You have no idea how much I appreciate that, because sometimes you go to shippers and you've, I don't know, that looks like a shipping office. That looks like a shipping office. Let's go over here. No, it's over there? Okay, so you go over there. No, it's not here, it's over there. Oh, it's over there. You don't know where the shipping office is and you waste all this time running around looking for them. Most of them are labeled pretty well, but uh, this one just had like big, big ginormous signs pointing me in the right direction. And it's a new building too, so I didn't know. It's in the front, back, side. Thank you if you put those signs up. The truck drivers really appreciate it. It's early. Sometimes I just like a big arrow to point me in the right direction. It just makes my life easier. Shall we go take a look and see what they put in the box? I have no idea what it is. Let's see. It shouldn't be the whole thing. Huh. Would you look at that? It's a little over half of the trailer. 26, like I said yesterday, uh, 26 and a half feet 
is half the trailer so i'm gonna say i got probably 20 feet available more maybe yeah about 25 feet half the trailer i'm gonna say about 23 feet right in the middle how about that In. There we go. All hooked in, ready to rock. So this stuff's actually going to Blumenort, uh, close to Steinbeck. I'm pretty sure they're going to want me to put something else in there yet too, so I'll have to radio in. Off to Oak Bluff we go. That's on the west side of the city as well, just a little further south down the perimeter. We'll pick up a few pieces there, and then we'll. Uh, deliver this trailer and then I come back into Winnipeg for round two. It's kind of fun buzzing around. Pick up and delivery. Something different every day, right? And it's not just the highway all day. It's getting in and out of the truck, talking to people. So far I'm enjoying it. Put me in a truck, give me some diesel fuel, and I'm a happy man. I'm pretty easy to please. I don't want to go that way. Oh, I'm going to go this way. I didn't bring my shades. Ah, oh, my eyes. That's a stop sign. Let's stop. Oh boy, I'm gonna regret that, but I'm not going to buy another pair. I already have two pairs, that's enough. I got one for the pickup and I got one for work. Actually, no, I have that pair in Brits, well, in the terrain. So I have uh, two pairs, but maybe I need one for work too. Go ahead. saying yesterday it's it's nice having this two-way radio in here it's just like a cb without all of the morons on there that are on a regular cb it's just the people you want to talk to on here i love it another stop sign successful stop i think it's probably about 10 minutes to our next pickup not that far at all now we got one of them red lights. I don't like those red lights. They don't like me either. They're always staring at me, judging me, wasting my time. Look at them over there. Look at them, just judging me. They don't think I'm worthy to move. They don't think I'm important enough. It's coffee time. Not gonna pass by the flying hook without stopping for a bean to cup. I've missed that. I mean, Timmy's is good. It's better actually, but I, I haven't had very many of their bean to cup coffees lately. And the one I had yesterday was refreshing to say the least. It's coffee time. All I did was pick up two pallets here. But off the blooming snort we go. Bring those two pallets there, and then I got another one in. Another one in Bloomer. Actually, the whole trailer is going to Bloomer, or just two different places. And then they're sending me back into Winnipeg after that. Just barely made that corner. Woo -hoo! Oh, yeah. This truck is very noisy on the highway. This window up here. Or the door, I don't know what it is. It doesn't seal quite right. <laughs> it's so noisy. But that's okay. She still drives. The interior definitely needs a good cleaning. Like, definitely. Badly. But, uh, I'm just gonna be here a short while, but if this would be my permanent truck, 
I would definitely be spending a lot of time wiping this thing down because it's a little gross. <laughs> but whatever. Doesn't bother some people. If it's not your permanent truck, I guess, yeah. But the place I'm going for a road test on uh, next week, if everything goes good and all the stars align like they're supposed to on the 21st. Have you heard of that? The Christmas star is coming. If they all align like we are told they will and everything goes right, I'll have my own truck that's assigned to me so I can keep it nice and clean up to my standards. For now, we're about 15 kilometers from uh, Blumenort. Blumenort, as we call it locally. Unless you live there, then I'm sorry. I make fun of it because I spent my childhood in Blumenort. I still got family that lives there too. It's actually a very nice little town if you're looking for like a... It's a very quiet, peaceful town. No real big problems. It was founded in 1874 by the Mennonites when we first landed here. I hope you can hear me over that window. Man, that gets it's irritating, but... <laughs> At least I don't have to be in here for like 10, 13 hours going down the highway, right? Otherwise, I'd spend a little more energy looking into what's making this noise over here. Well, you can't call me lazy today. That first pickup I did, they loaded it all onto the floor. That's why it took so long. I had to hand bomb it or tailgate it all to the back here, one piece at a time, and there was like 14, 28, 30, 5, 50 pieces. Big head dragged all to the back. Got my workout in today, that's for sure. So I gotta radio in now and uh, see what they got for me next. I think they wanna send me back into Winnipeg. Check this out. Saw a pilot vehicle come through here. Wouldn't it be fun to drive that dump truck? Now all I gotta do is wash my windows so I can actually see. We're about to turn on a Dougald Road here, or as my GPS calls it, Dougald. Dougald Road. Got a whole load to pick up. Going down to Landmark. Supposed to be a full load on this one. And what's the time now? The time is two o'clock. Well, time to get loaded, probably 2.30. Down to Landmark for 3.15-ish. 3, 3.15 ish, 3.30. I should make it. It shouldn't be a problem. I seriously just waited what felt like 10 minutes for a green light. The green light, the turning arrow, stayed on for exactly three blinks and then went yellow and red. One pickup truck made it through. Intersection of Dougal and Lajamonia. Any of you guys traveling in this local area notice that? It's the second time I've seen. It'll barely give me enough time to get going here. I gotta be ready, put her in gear. As soon as I like, no, I'm gonna have to wait a while now because they have to go, they have to go. See now these guys got the green light beside me and then they'll get the red light and then the green light will turn on for all the people going across the street now. And then my green light will turn on for exactly three blinks and then turn yellow. That's gotta be a glitch. That can't, they can't be serious about that. This is a major intersection where a lot of trucks make a corner. Where are we going? We gotta, uh, gotta turn right, turn right. Right up ahead here. Yeah, this is a major like industrial part of the city. Then your destination so will be on the left. there's a lot of trucks moving around. I'm just surprised that they haven't fixed that light yet because I noticed they're it there like months ago already that it's very hard to get through that intersection. But oh well, we made it. We made it. You just got to be ready to go. <laughs> Foot on the clutch, trucking gear, ready to give her. Passing by J J 
Jade Transport right now. That's where my buddy works. They got some nice trucks there. Your destination is on the left. Well, that was fun backing across the street. This is some random industrial road going through the industrial zone here. But apparently, it's very busy. I think they need another one. But we made it. You can see our tracks there. Let's go get ourselves loaded and let's head to Landmark. City traffic. Oh, the joys. I don't really mind it that much. Except when stuff like this happens. What's going on? Oh, someone up there is trying to change lanes. And it seems that the other people have no idea what they're trying to do. That's what the signal, he did have his signals on. See, even when you do use your signals, no one knows what you're trying to do. No one seems to know what the blinky lights are for anyway. I wonder if that's why they called the town Landmark, because it's right in the middle of the country. It's a landmark town. They got a good hockey team there. At least they did back in the day. I played nine years there, I think? Or was it nine years altogether that I played? That was a many seasons that I played hockey there, minor hockey. Oh man, the best memories. We had a good team too. I think I've told you about this before, right? For a few years there. For a few years. Man, my mouth isn't working. <laughs> it's a time. Time is now 3.20. I'm going straight to Landmark. I guess I'll be there at about quarter to four, closer to four. It's going to be right at the end of their day. After that, I'm assuming the day is probably over, but who knows? Maybe they'll have some late day deliveries to be made. Probably not, because pretty much everyone who works in shipping or receiving usually goes home between like four o'clock and six o'clock. You know, and then there's those lucky shippers and receivers who get to go home at like one o'clock in the afternoon. Everybody loves those ones. <laughs> you know, if you gotta make a delivery after lunch, sorry, sorry, they went home already. I haven't run into any shippers like that here yet doing this, but I sure did run into them on the road. Like, you bust your butt to get there. You get there at, like, 1.30 in the afternoon, and nobody's there. And you look at the sign, and, oh, they've gone home for the weekend already. Must be nice. I did see that you guys did notice we're in a stick shift now. I still got it. Like riding a bike. Which I'm very glad and thankful for the, uh, the update and the practice I get in these trucks here, because I'm going for a... Uh, like I said, going for a road test next week, and I've got to be able to pass their road test in a manual transmission truck, which makes sense, right? Everyone should be doing that. So I get to brush up on it a little bit here and sort of boost my confidence a little bit and let myself know I still got it. I shouldn't have to worry about next week. Nice and straight. They're unloading me right now. trailer's got these fancy drop steps that you can use to get into the trailer easier, but somebody bent it. Wasn't me. Not that this was a tight spot to get into at all. We got a huge yard. I was the only one here. And I got here at quarter to four, and they're shipping and receiving closes at four. And believe me, the look I got when I walked in there and told them I had a whole load for them said it all. They close in 15 minutes. Weren't the happiest to see me, but... It is what it is. Got here as fast as I could. All right, let's head out here, put some fuel in her. We're losing daylight hours here, and the trailer is now empty, which means we got to make sure the tanks are full and head on back. Itty bitty tanks. <laughs> Oh, he's so thirsty. So thirsty. It's been a good day, though. Been a good day. Sand. No sleeper. Really enjoyed myself. I like this buzzing around. It's me a sense of purpose, you know? Like I have a, a, a something to do. Something to 
a, a reason for living. A little bit dramatic, but I love trucks. So what I found is that, though I don't necessarily need to drive because I have other income streams, I want to. And by that, I found that I need something to do every day. I need a task. I'm very busy-minded, busy-body, whatever you want to call it. I always have to have something to do. I have to have a purpose, you know? It's good to have structure in your life. So if there's no structure, it's sort of like you're, you're almost in limbo, wondering, well, what am I supposed to be doing? Because we all have this inside of us. We all know we're, we have a purpose, that we're supposed to be doing something and contributing, right? So, with being home and working from home, I found that uh, the lack of structure, I guess, really bothered me. I want to have somewhere to be. I want to go out and physically accomplish something. Like, in this case, bringing stuff from here that someone needs over there being a part of that process and helping somebody out it really like i mean you can make enough money and have great careers from home but it's also nice to get out of the house and do something out of the house because if you're constantly cooped up in the house it becomes repetitive it's also very hard to find new things for content every day when you're just at home All right, speaking of home. Let's go see what's for supper. I'm excited. You know, this could be from like so many years. It was nine, almost 10 years of over the road, right? I was always on the go, on the go, on the go. So I always feel like I should be moving. And when I'm not moving, I feel like I'm being unproductive, even if I am being productive. I want to be moving, even if it is just shorter moving, right? Not as long. I need to be going out doing something different every day. I could never do a desk job, never. Unless if I was forced to, but I wouldn't like it. <laughs> I like to change it up every day and see new scenery every day and have different tasks to do every day so that it's not repetitive, right? You got structure, but nothing repetitive. Does that make sense? The point is, I think I'm going to be much happier now. Another day done, another day I get to go home. What a great feeling. You know, I don't think I'll ever get tired of this. Really good guys where I'm working at right now too. I like it, I enjoyed myself. The last two days, had a lot of fun. Easy going guys. Not the kind of people that breathe down your neck all day. Give you something to do. You go do it, everybody's happy, right? I like it, you know? I am gonna go for this, uh, check out this other full-time position that I'm uh, going for a road test for next week, but, you know, if I didn't have that opportunity in front of me, I'd probably be begging these guys for a full-time position there. <laughs> I like it there. I wouldn't mind staying there, but, you know, I have this other opportunity that's, uh, I think is a little bit well, it's a, it's a good fit for me. And uh, we're going to go check it out. See if they like me. I mean, I'm a pretty quiet, easygoing guy, so... It takes me a little while to warm up to people. Especially the people I haven't met before. You know, I usually, like I've said before in past videos, I sit and watch. I'll watch people. Get to know their personality a little bit, and then I'll go engage in conversation and... Uh, I sort of know, feel like I know who I'm talking to a little bit more then, but 
that's just me everybody's different my wife is totally different she is she is a social bug loves to talk in a good way she makes friends everywhere she goes I have more friends now because of her because as they say you know my wife has many friends and her friends have husbands therefore I have many friends She's way better at socializing than me. I'm a little, I'll just be, I'll just quietly do my job. I'll do my work the best I can. And then I'll go home usually, right? But that's one of the things I guess that uh, one of the reasons I married her too is she's, her and her dad both have this ability. They can make you feel like you're the center of the world while they're talking to you. They're very good at focusing in on what you're saying, what you mean, and have like a great, come back all the time and a great conversation all the time there's never dead air they're just really good social people it must be a family thing her mom is the same way <laughs> hey guys Jesus. i'm excited i'm gonna go pee <laughs> hi hi hey guys home. it's your daddy home did i miss all the excitement again i tried to pull the camera out faster today am i not that exciting yeah, you're all right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, wiener. Hey, wiener. You excited? You excited, my little wiener? Don't step on him, Chevy. Hey, oh, look at him. <laughs> I gotta protect you from Chevy. No, you're gonna go that way? Okay. He's gonna go right underneath him. Well, it wasn't... It wasn't a rock star. Did you bring me a toy? Dizio, what'd you bring me? What'd you bring me? You shock a ball. Wasn't a rock star welcome today, but it was, uh, it was, it was pretty good. It was pretty good at the gate. You just didn't have your camera out yet. Yeah, I know. I always forget about it things. I'm so excited to see him. <laughs> well, Chev, you want to end the vlog? Sure, sure. You want to end it? Sure. Should I get Diesel to do it? And Diesel. <laughs> Diesel. No? He must be really tired over there. You see little Frank? Frankie! Frankie, you come end it then. Come on. Come here. Good boy. Can I end the vlog? Well, now Diesel comes. Sure, yeah, now that he's jealous. Right? He's just jealous that he's not the commander of the Galactic Federation now. That's what I'm saying. He's just jealous. Not everyone can be a shapeshifter, Frank. No need to show off. That guy. I don't believe any of his stories. Thanks for watching today, though. I really do appreciate it. Tomorrow's another day. We're going to go deliver some more stuff tomorrow. It's going to be fun. Hope you join us. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. We make a new video every day. See you tomorrow.